The authorities in France are now acutely aware of the problems posed by global warming. In Paris, they're preparing a major climate plan. The issue of climate change is absolutely essential. For instance, we currently have campaigns asking people to lower their heating, as there's no need to have it turned up very high in most homes. We're also asking people to avoid driving if they don't absolutely need to. We've obviously got to change our buildings. For new buildings, it's not very difficult to build within norms which can cope perfectly well with climatic variations. For older buildings, we can make efforts to improve them by putting new insulation at roof level or perhaps including garden roofs. We're trying to encourage people to have gardens on their roofs and balconies. The concept of the building is quite simple. Here we are in the center of Paris and the town mayor decided to make this uh, garden here. So the idea for me was very simple. It's just to make a sort of ground, a green ground that up goes on the building. The efforts by the mayor's office to promote greener architecture attracted Edouard Francois. He took them at their word and designed this spectacular flower tower. The covering of bamboo on the building acts as a natural air conditioning system. The plants are very important in the summer, so it protects the building against the, the sunshine, so you don't need any climatization, so the, it's totally automatically protect. It's a sunproof system. Greener architecture is only one solution. France has also tried to invoke its famed solidarity, reminding citizens that global warming is everyone's responsibility. The authorities fear that people have short memories. Sadly, I would say there is nothing more useless, more fickle than public opinion. We see more and more cars with air conditioning, more and more big 4x4s in the streets of Paris. We see that people are incredibly selfish and that the thousands of deaths that happened are forgotten, are in the past. With France expecting heat waves every seven years by 2050, this responsibility will be increasingly a matter of life and death. The worst situation I had to go through, that I had to handle myself, was the case of a 90-year-old woman. She lived with her daughter who suffered from Down syndrome. This 70-year-old daughter was like a child with the mental age of five. And her mother, who had never been ill, she then told me, if I die, no one is going to take care of her. She died. So I found myself at the foot of the bed with her daughter holding her hand, saying to her, Mummy, get up, we have to go. That was really very difficult. Très dur.